Hey everybody, this is Caleb from Mediocre Gamers, and I am playing the Division 2 Open Beta. So, I absolutely loved the first game, and I am very anxious to see how good this game is going to be. It's not going to have the same atmosphere, unfortunately. I absolutely love that snowy dystopia. It was beautiful and brilliant. Uh, scenery still looks great here, um, but still just not quite the same. Uh, you might notice that I sound a little different today. Uh, it's because I'm sick, and so bear with me when I am coughing and choking and wheezing and snorting in your ears. I appreciate it. Uh, things seem to run pretty smooth. I had to adjust a lot of graphics settings. I have an older rig right now <clears throat> Building a new one But uh, I did try to record a little bit earlier, and it was very laggy, so uh, I decided that before I got too far I would just redo it uh, Gunplay seems solid sound effects seem better than the first game it's still a little laggy. Uh, I've got everything basically set to the lowest possible setting, and it still looks gorgeous. But there is still just a touch of lag. Uh, could also just be because it's beta. I love the sound that this thing makes. Ooh, they upgraded those. Damn, those are a pain in the ass. I mean, is Trump still in there? Because I feel like I'd rather just wait. <coughs> no, come back. Group up, you little shits. Holy shit, he's got an arm on him. Eh, should have chose a career in baseball instead of uh, whatever the fuck they're doing. Marauder, I guess? I don't know. Mad Max cosplayer? You little shit. Go eat a bag of dicks. No! Do not throw another grenade up here, you little bastard. them burn. Gotcha. Oh, I can actually repair my armor. That seems nice. I do like the addition of armor. But it feels like you can just kind of take a beating and it doesn't really matter. I don't know if the focus was on more run and gun. Or if it just levels out later and the armor is actually mandatory. <clears throat> no, let me walk through there like a badass.
Yes, yes, you're welcome. I'm a badass, I know. The sound for this is incredible. It actually has a depth. dad jokes. I did the turret a lot in the first game, so I think I'm gonna try this chem launcher. Holy crap! That seems pretty cool. Looks like they completely overhauled the perk system. seems decently big. <coughs> Except I think three of those zones are fucking dark zones. just the bomber drone at first, which I've, from what I've seen isn't great, but I'll fiddle with it. Alright.
Alright, now I can actually link up with the guys and uh, do the next bit of content. So it just does the thing. You don't really get to aim it. <clears throat> oh, there we go. If you hold it, you can. Hey, that did a thing. I do like that. Oh, I think I got a proficiency cache. Let's open that up. <clears throat> yeah. Not great. find a couple more dudes to kick around. didn't hit anybody. That did. Holy buckets. Well, maybe pistols don't suck too bad in this game. They were mostly terrible in the first game. I like that cat launcher. That thing's just fun. <clears throat> Ooh, that was a lag spike right there. Well, alright, I think that's probably as far as I'm going to go by myself. I want to uh, record doing the rest of the content co-op with Crimson and RJ. And we're going to try to get those videos out this weekend, so definitely stay tuned for those. We're going to try to do all three missions and the end game part, so definitely keep an eye out for those. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and get out there and play some games. <laughs>